building a god is not easy. There were people, outliers, who you couldn't predict or control. And as long as they are a part of us, there is no future for us. Somewhere in this group is an agitator who will destroy the world. I can't let that happen. It's time everyone woke up. Have you ever questioned me what she's asking you to do? Hey guys, Bo Oliver here with another Westworld preview video. Now, we just played the preview trailer for Episode 5, so I hope this video doesn't get copyrighted. HBO loves to copyright every piece of material they release online, as if the online community surrounding Game of Thrones didn't help them make hundreds of millions of dollars. I digress. This trailer starts by giving us a look at Rehoboam, most likely in the early stages of its creation. Thanks to the date announcement trailer, we can trace this moment back to March 17th, 2039. At the time, Rehoboam was referred to as Solomon. Here we see a young Sarek overlooking his creation, and his motivations for creating this godly machine were revealed in the previous episode. His motivation stems from the nuclear incident that took place in his home city of Paris. October 9th, 2025. Sarek was still a teenager when his home city was destroyed in the incident. In Season 2, we discovered that Delos had created a perfect map of the human mind by hiding cameras in the hats of their guests. Pretty genius, if you ask me. That map was locked away by Dolores at the end of Season 2, and Sarek is hunting the rogue host in order to find this map. In this trailer, he talks about an agitator, and I think he's talking about this guy. Caleb is a human being, not a host, so his decision to fight alongside Dolores surprises her in the beginning. But Sarek is not surprised. Caleb's willingness to rebel indicates a flaw in Rehoboam's system. There are some people that it cannot account for. Sarek calls them agitators and outliers, and he traces them using divergences detected by Rehoboam. Sarek believes that if Rehoboam had access to Delos's map, the perfect map of the human mind, these agitators would be accounted for. Divergences would no longer occur, and Sarek's perfect world would be in arm's reach. Even though Caleb was placed on a predetermined path of dead-end jobs and eventual suicide, he managed to break free, so to speak. In a line that could be directed towards Dolores, Sarek states that this agitator will destroy the world. The difference between Caleb and Dolores is that Sarek knew Dolores was coming, while Caleb's actions were totally unaccounted for. In this shot, we see two young boys walking through a field and eventually overlooking the nuclear incident that destroyed Paris. This could be Sarek and a friend or a sibling, or it could be any random people, but my money is on Sarek since we already saw this flashback in the previous episode. What's interesting is how similar this shot is to Maeve and her daughter walking through the fields in both Season 1 and Season 2, scenes that took place with inside the park, Westworld. Sarek appears to be in the real world here, but it is funny to note that similarity. Intentional, unintentional, who knows. Sarek and Maeve have spent a lot of time together, so they may be trying to draw parallels between the two characters. Maybe Sarek's motivation also stems from the loss of a family member, a loss of a child. Remember, with Westworld, the timelines, the narrators can't be trusted, so we see one version of Sarek's story of his childhood. Maybe there's another version out there that's the truth. Or maybe Sarek views humanity as his child, as his children. And like Maeve, he will stop at nothing to ensure their safety. This shot here also appears to be Sarek in a futuristic helicopter looking dapper. He appears to be on the move. We also see him addressing another character inside of a vehicle. And we also see him taking a meeting with possible diplomats, foreign diplomats. He has been globetrotting these past couple of episodes. So we've seen him in Singapore. We've seen him in possibly Spain. Now this next shot features Caleb and his Rico crew from the first episode. Characters played by Lena Waithe and Marshawn Lynch. While they are criminals, they don't appear to be too confrontational in episode 1, so it makes sense as to why Caleb would bring them in. It's a pretty funny crew of characters when you add Dolores to this mix. And there appears to be more chaos being caused by this crew, with a driverless motorcycle being set on fire. And finally here, Sarek finishes his dialogue in the trailer by saying he cannot let this agitator destroy the world. And we can assume he is once again talking to Maeve, because Maeve has been our way into Sarek's true motivations and plans. And when 
since Eric talks about this agitator possibly ending the world, I do think that means Caleb, and it would make sense why they would bring in Aaron Paul to play this character. He's just not going to be a throwaway blue-collar worker who helps Dolores. I think there is something to the decisions that he has been making throughout this third season. Bernard and Martin are here possibly overlooking Rehoboam's outer layer, something that was mentioned in episode one. Liam Dempsey says he kind of has access to the readings of the outer layer. It looks like a simple map of the world that possibly detects divergences. The interior of this room is similar to the room that houses Rehoboam in episode one inside of Insight's headquarters. The patterns on the walls seem to be the same, and it would make sense as to why Dolores wants Bernard to know of this machine's existence. Bernard is probably just as capable when it comes to decoding and hacking as Dolores, and there might be something that they have missed that only Bernard can find. He's good at that. He's good at finding hidden keys and helping people out even when he doesn't really want to. Liam Dempsey Jr. does say in episode one that no one knows what Rehoboam is truly doing. His explanation for the machine's creation is pretty much the same explanation we got from Sarek. So that means that there is mystery still there. There is something that they both either don't know or are not mentioning. And maybe Bernard will be the one to decipher Rehoboam. Speaking of Liam Dempsey, this shot of Liam Dempsey injecting Caleb coincides with Dolores saying, it's time for everyone to wake up. We've talked about the ideas of simulations happening within simulations, happening within simulations, possibly. So maybe Caleb is being brought into a simulation here, or being brought out of one. Or he could just be fending off an attack by Liam Dempsey. We see Liam bleeding out in this shot on the beach, and it appears that Caleb is trying to put pressure on the bullet wound, or knife wound, however he was attacked. The Nolan brothers are known for injecting their characters with mysterious serums, which mentally transport them to different worlds and planes, and a lot of the times they end up on beaches. Even in this shot, Caleb seems to be unfamiliar with his surroundings, and in this black and white shot, he looks more confused than he is scared. He really looks confused throughout this entire preview trailer, and Bernard can be heard asking, have you ever questioned what she's asking you to do? And we could assume he is directing this towards Caleb. Or one of the hosts that is in Dolores' control, because now the secret is out. Martin revealed to Bernard in episode 4 that he was a Dolores host, so Bernard could be questioning these multiple different Dolores hosts. Maybe Bernard is even trying to get these hosts to turn on Dolores. We saw that in episode 3, the Dolores host inside of Charlotte's body wasn't really adjusting. She was having existential crises throughout the episode, and eventually Dolores had to make the decision to either help her or kill her. So it's not a guarantee that these hosts are stable. So he could be talking to Martin, he could be talking to Charlotte, or it could be Caleb. It's probably Caleb. And the question sounds eerily similar to the infamous question asked throughout season one and two, have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? It's usually a question directed towards a host to make sure that the host is functioning properly, making sure that the host doesn't have free will. So there have been so many theories about Caleb. Is he a host? Is he a Dolores host? What does his backstory, how does that really define his character? What are the clues that we should be looking for to understand Caleb's role in this season. That might be a theory video we do later on in the week. We have to watch and see with episode 5 how it plays out. This trailer also features several shots of Dolores, Caleb, and their crew just blowing shit up. Dolores seems to be watching or even controlling some of this chaos, and there appears to be an attack on Insight's headquarters. As you can see here, the architectural structures of the building seem to be similar to the Insight building we saw in episode 1. There are actually a lot of action sequences that happen throughout this trailer. We even have a shot here of Stubbs and Martin fighting each other, so this could be Stubbs trying to rescue Bernard. We didn't really see what happened to him at the end of episode 4. We saw that Martin revealed that he was a Dolores host, but in this shot here we see Bernard and Martin together, so maybe they could be keeping him against his will, or he doesn't really look like a prisoner, and like I mentioned before, they're probably going to need Bernard's help, but here's, here's Stubbs doing what he does best, and the whole trailer it looks like it's going to be an action-packed episode. They're going to mix the action with possibly some answers to the questions that we have, and I'm looking forward to getting right back into this world. It's been a very good season, and let us know in the comment section below what you think is going to happen in this episode, any ideas, any theories, but hey, if the theory is any good, don't comment it, because then someone might steal it.